Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna take this new road that I just recently made and show you guys the pro my process for carving and trimming a rug. So the lines come out super nice and clean. I'm gonna go over some of the tools that I use and then a general overview of the actual process. All right, so now that I'm at my station, I got all the tools that I laid out here uh, for my rugs. Um, some of these you're actually gonna be kind of surprised on. Most people have seen most of these, but we're gonna keep rocking and rolling. All right, um, let's see. The very first thing I do is a handheld carpet shaper. Um, you get these on Amazon for like four or five bucks, um, but I use this initially. As soon as the rug is backed, backed, um, I go over the entire rug numerous times with this thing. What this does is it helps pull the loose yarn that kind of necessarily didn't get glued up right or um, some of the stuff that's a little fluffy. It gets rid of a lot of that. Um, so you just kind of take it and go through there. While I'm doing this, I'm spinning the rug because I want to try and do it multiple different directions. Get rid of all that. It's a bit messy, but it's all part of the process. After that, I will grab my sheep shears. Uh, your sheep shears are incredibly dangerous, so keep your fingers away from the no-no zones. No-no zones. And keep them locked up so your kids don't, you know, play with them. Um, this I use to level the rug out. Um, there are some spots that get a little bit more yarn than others, so it's a little bit more dense. Um, not not terribly too bad, uh, but sometimes it does happen, so use this to kind of level it out. Plus your machine can sometimes um, get different uh, pile heights, um, depending on how much tension you have on your yarn. Okay, the next thing you need is a pair of tweezers. This comes a long way um, when you're trying to pick the colors away. When you're tufting, sometimes the yarn kind of, the different colors, let's say this is black and white, the yarn kind of like overlaps a little bit and you got to separate those out. Um, this is incredibly useful. You'd be surprised, but I use a screwdriver. I'll show you exactly what I use this for, but this is going to make your life incredibly easy. Okay, so if you guys see the color blending here, we're gonna go ahead and start with the screwdriver. What you're gonna do is kind of pick it apart. See how there's a little bit of space, a little bit of gap in there? Take my screwdriver, set it in there, and then just kind of start running it through, and it's going to separate the color as I go along. That helps with the blending that much easier. Yeah, there's still a little bit, but that's just because of the thickness of the yarn, but it's no longer like significantly in there. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one as well so you guys can kind of see. Now this isn't gonna get every bit of it, but it's definitely gonna help. Just run it along. You're not trying to stab your rug. You're just trying to separate the colors out. And then here. Getting that gap. This one's a little thick. The very last thing I use is a pair of clippers. Now I have two different pairs. Um, I have the Dream Streets. I think that's what they're called, the Dream Streets with a wooden handle on it that you see a lot of rug tufters have. Those are really, really good. Um, they're not bad. Reason, these glide through the rug like butter. Um, I don't know why. The only difference I can really see, uh, the only difference I really see is the fact that the bottom half is silver. I, I don't know what the difference really is. Um, I think it might be the where the actual cutting part, the little ceramic blade right here, actually sits on the sits on the edge of the cutter, if you will. Like how further back and further forward it goes, but I don't know why, but these go crazy. It's very easy to get some oops, oopsies with this, so be careful. When I was first learning how to do this, the hardest thing for me to grasp was how to hold how to hold the clippers right. It's an awkward moment motion, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda hold like a pencil and I do go at it. Another thing was like which angle do I do I use? Do I go like this or like this? And that honestly depends on what what color you're trying to trim first. So let's say it's this white line. I'm gonna angle my scissors or my clippers like this. If I was doing the black line, I'd angle it like this. So the point is always to the line, right? So if you're carving the white, you need to carve, you need to angle it like this. 
like that. If you're doing the black, angle it like this. It'd be the same way around here. So I'd go around this like that. I'd go around this one like that. And then I'd do a little bit of trimming. As I go along, I'm actually going back and re-leveling the entire rug as well to make sure it's all nice and flat. While you're doing this, make sure that you move the yarn back and forth in each direction so that way you're getting every little bit. Also, when you vacuum in between, um, sometimes the vacuum moves the yarn around, so don't be afraid to go back over your work to get it done right. And that's how I trim my rugs from start to finish. See you next time.